So I came to Costa Rica almost two years ago with the intention of living here, and I have been here ever since. And one of the main reasons why uh, I chose to move here was because I wanted to live somewhere where I could feel more freedom, where the energy just felt lighter, and where I felt that I could expand my being in greater ways. And Costa Rica has definitely offered me that. So I thought I would make a little video showing my appreciation, the things that I really love about living here. why we chose to leave Canada was because of the dense energy that my partner and I felt um, just didn't feel that we had the sense of freedom of course with you know since COVID and everything happened it really went against our rights and our beliefs and we wanted to go somewhere where we knew that we could connect easily with people who shared um, similar ways of seeing the world and the experience that we wanted to have. And of course, one of the things that I absolutely love about living here is the community, is the conscious community. The expat community is really, really strong here and there is so much beauty and projects and things being done that make it a really beautiful place for people who are looking for a more conscious way of living to live. Costa Rica, I believe, offers a high quality of life. It is a really safe country. There is no army, it's peaceful, you can get really good quality foods if you know where to look. Just in general, things are abundant, beautiful, and simple. You know, Costa Ricans have the expression Pura Vida, which it means pure life and is a certain philosophy of life. And it shows um, in a lot of their, their ways, there's, there's a lightness, there's a joy in the simple acts of living. Of course, with the amount of people who have come here and affected the economy and I mean that's a big subject about how it's affected Costa Ricans negatively and has made it so that a lot of them have sold lands and are now sort of stuck in a cycle of, of just not pure life <laughs> at all. Um, despite that there's still this Pura Vida essence to the country that makes it so that you come here and you embody this uh, if you're able to and it really does increase your, your quality of life because you are less in this energy of hustle and bustle and doing and more in this everything is chill and honestly you have no choice because things take longer of course um, life asks you to just take take your time and it's part of the experience of being here and there's beauty that's found in that learning to just live more slowly to just be in nature to just appreciate it's a practice of gratitude it's a practice of being it's a whole other way of life in choosing to come here you're making certain sacrifices you're choosing to let go of if you're used to a lifestyle that's very go 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 with things all the time don't come here and expect that you're going to maintain that that you're going to be able to work as much and be productive as much people come here and <laughs> end up chilling a lot and reducing a lot of the hours that they work and just wanting to enjoy life more maybe going surfing or just chilling. Now another thing that I love 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 is the abundance of fruits and vegetables. I am somebody that loves to eat fresh fruits and Costa Rica offers such an abundance of them in so many ways. Uh, if you know where to look, if you go into the right markets, you can find exotic fruits that are just so delicious or if you know people who have lands or if you're purchasing land yourself, then you can plant things and things grow so quickly. It's beautiful and you can just enjoy the most amazing variety of fruits and strange tropical things to eat that make it really, really fun to eat. And if you watch some of my previous videos, you'll see I've shown a few things, a few random things that you can eat. Of course, part of the beauty about living here over time is experiencing these pretty uh, rare things slowly and discovering and it's always a new adventure of this thing you've never seen that someone offers you and you're like what and it's just so surprising to always discover th what nature is capable of making so of course if you're somebody that wants to come and experience the sweetness of it all I guarantee that you will be satisfied if you make the efforts to make the right connections and find all of these places that can offer you this exotic fresh fruit and on the same topic of abundance, the other aspect of abundance that I love is the flowers and the vegetation. I recently did a video on roses because suddenly the rain came and I had roses growing all around my house. And 
really flowers just started blooming everywhere when the rains came and it was so beautiful and it's still the case my roses are gone unfortunately but there's still such an abundance of flowers everywhere so many colors and just the greenery is so beautiful healing allows you to breathe this like fresh air all the time if you're living somewhere that's more jungly like i am um it's just like the nature here is so amazing and another aspect that i love about costa rica is this possibility of mixing beach and mountains because in most of costa rica there are mountains everywhere so if you even if you're close to the beach you just drive a few minutes and you're already going up the mountain and so you don't really have to choose you can live 20 minutes in the mountains where it's a little cooler and still have access to the beach really easily and so this in between off is amazing for this offering and of course these mountains are so beautiful to experience and to drive on these roads and to see always these rolling hills is is breathtaking and really not to be taken for granted and of course if you're somebody that's more into adventure travel and exploration there are tons of volcanoes and the waterfalls and rivers in costa rica are amazing that's definitely one of my favorite things. I'm somebody that loves, loves, loves the rivers and waterfalls more so than the ocean. And as beautiful as the beaches are, I have visited some really breathtaking spots that are often kept secret. So they're not necessarily the spots that you would find on Google Maps or that you would pay for. Of course, those are absolutely beautiful. Like where I live, the Nyaka Waterfall and Eco Chantalis Waterfall are two of the really popular tourist attractions and they do not disappoint but I also know some hidden gems that I take my friends to and are just like amazing because nobody goes there and they are so sacred nature here or the entire land of Costa Rica just has really a sacredness to it something really unique it's like it vibrates at a really loving maternal high frequency that is really really nourishing i think for a lot of people who come here i know that for a lot of people it can be too much and that's why after a year or two they decide to leave because the energy of the jungle is not to be taken lightly and there are a lot of challenges to living here i'm not gonna lie but i'm focusing on the good in this video so now if you're into surfing of course there's an abundance of beaches where you can do that with really good quality surf with beaches that are pretty empty with a beautiful surfing community so you can be served in that regard and of course the beaches offer amazing sunsets when it's rainy season a little less right now it's gray because from may to early December end of November it rains a lot and so uh, oftentimes it's sunny in the morning and then cloudy in the afternoon today it was cloudy right from the start and I think we're having a pretty intense rainy season this year uh, compared to last year at least however there still are amazing sunsets here and there in the rainy season and in the dry season you are served with the most breathtaking sunsets especially if you're in the north in Nicoya from my experience, those have been the most beautiful, but of course you can find amazing sunsets anywhere you go. And I just love going to the beach at sunset, taking a walk and then enjoying. Uh, this past year, there was a drum circle every single Sunday evening where people would come together and play drums and make a fire and watch the sunset. And these are the an example of how the community comes together in ways that are just really open that's what's beautiful is that there's just so many gatherings all the time happening especially in the dry season in the rainy season things really die down but it's a whole other energy and it's nourishing in its own way but in the dry season there's stuff going on all the time so if you're somebody that likes action you want to go to ecstatic dance or you're looking for kirtan or you're just looking for other spiritual gatherings there is no shortage of stuff beyond envision Please do not think Costa Rica is Envision. There is so much more to Costa Rica than the Envision Festival. Uh, throughout the rest of the year, it is the place for experience, opportunity, growth. But in general, Costa Rica attracts really high quality people who have amazing medicine to share with the world. And it is a place definitely to grow, to evolve, to heal, to meet amazing people and really just experience life in a really beautiful way. 
it's taken me a while to really feel fully grounded here to feel that yes i want to live here at least right now at this time in my life for all of these reasons for this abundance for how good i feel in my body i mean i'm so much healthier physically than i was two years ago just because of everything that i have access to that i just wouldn't necessarily have access to of course there are compromises there are things that I don't have access to so easily. There are challenges. You can't have it all. When you're living here, you have to make choices and you have to make sacrifices. But in my opinion, the sacrifices are worth it. If this video resonates, please like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate it. And I'll see you very soon in the next one.